good afternoon and welcome to another Bright News discussion with Shannon and Shane. And uh, we're going to get into uh, this article that we read um, over the past couple of weeks. Uh, it's called Peter Thiel on the Dangers of Progress. The tech billionaire dis dis discusses Silicon Valley, Christianity and Apocalypse. So without further ado, Shane, how you doing? Great. What about yourself, Shannon? I'm doing all right, man. I'm, I'm, uh, you know, trucking along. We're, you know, we're, uh, we're, it's still, it's still warm here, but you know, the, the, the weather is about to change in a little bit. So. Well, know. well, and, and, and here, here in the fine state of Florida, we have two seasons. We have, we have, um, hottest and we have hot. <laughs> right. <laughs> it doesn't <laughs> It doesn't get it doesn't it doesn't change from that. But. No, yeah, and and we're on the cusp of of transitioning from hottest to hot, but but we're we're still a little ways away here. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> well, it's all good, man. Well, listen, um, I so I wanted to you know I wanted to get your thoughts on this article, um, you know, and just see where what you thought about this. Um, and so you know one of the one of the main I guess the main topics in this is, um, you know, this idea of st stagnation, you know, in yeah. the area of tech, um, the areas of, you know, the area of, of, of culture um, and politics. And, um, you know, there's a lot that I guess we could, uh, could flesh out here, but, you know, my main interest with reading this article was about uh, this idea of illusory progress, right? And um, the idea that, um, you know, somehow Christianity um, is really linked to, um, or the, sorry, the progress within technology and science is really linked to um, our views about our culture and our, and our, um, and our belief systems. Yeah. So I, wonder, I wondered what you, um, sort of thought about that in, in, in so to so to kind of sum it all up my my impression of the article was uh that that something's rotten in the state of denmark and instead of instead of the state of denmark it would be the the usa right and instead of something rotten um it, it would be our our uh conscience and 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 our and our wills uh you know and, and i mean that in a very collective sense Right. That we have, you know, the argument of the article is that that we have that we've lost our way. Kind of all of us know it, and all of us can feel it, mm -hmm. and and we can see material evidence of it in the sense that that uh, that that innovation um, that that innovation is waning, and and that was kind of something that you know, and and you just said this that that uh that it seems that um that that it seems that rather than us um pioneering new frontiers in the space of technology and throughout the culture um that throughout the culture overall we're we we're we're optimizing the efficiency of the te of the technologies that we already have you right. know we're we're taking the microchip and making it more powerful rather than than moving on and developing the next thing right right and 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 so um so for me it, it it's i think it's you know it's the same thing it's this idea that um you know it, it talks about how technology you know seems to be progressing because of you know like you were talking about this idea of you know sort of nanotechnology or micro technology right but yeah. it's, it's but um so, so we've gotten better at that and we've we've um been able to sort of you know just really get um, deeper into sort of the, the the microtech field, but the problem is that we don't have um, real external progress, right? And so, yeah. you know, it says, you know, he says in the article, it says, you know, um, you know, the iPhone that distracts us from our environment also distracts us from the ways our environment is unchanging and static. And in this culture, economy and politics of chronic self-deception, as Till sees it, we tell ourselves that we're advancing because grandma gets an iPhone. 
with a smooth surface. But meanwhile, she gets to eat cat food because food prices have gone up, <laughs> right? <laughs> and so, you know, of course, that's a that's that's sort of an economic, you know, tie to this, you know, mm -hmm. idea of the lack of progress within technology and, you know, so on and so forth. But, um, you know, I, I would I would better say like, um, I think a better way to look at it is, you know, forget the iPhone. Like, let's talk about the fact that like, yeah, gra grandma can get an iPhone, but she's also still having to deal with the fact of having diabetes. Yeah. You know, or still having to, you know, deal with the fact of, of you know, th there might be a risk of cancer, you know, or, or what have you, right? And so all, you know, all these, all these real problems that we have, you know, we, we, we are, yeah, distracting ourselves or, or sort of um, putting ourselves in a space to where we can sort of um, put it on the back burner or, or, or not deal with it. You know, um, it's, it's, you know, we can, yeah, it's a problem, you know, grandma might be sick or whatever, but you know, that, that's what comes, you know, she's, She's just gonna die anyways. We might as well just try to make her feel as comfortable as possible, yeah. you know, and, um, and help her to to have an easy death, you know, or or something like that, you know. And you know the the really interesting thing is is kind of is thinking about is thinking about tradition, you know, right. it is thinking about how and and I and this article got me thinking about tradition about about you know tangibly what is that and right. tradition at, at, at least in in my in my uh in in my concept of it is it, it's um it's something outside of us right it's it's something objective something outside of us and it's it's tangible and you can kind of think about it in in terms of church it might be statues or stained glass or mm -hmm. Um, or, or, or in terms of, of our country, you might look at the Capitol mm -hmm. and look at, look at the great monuments, like the, like the Washington monument or the, or the Lincoln Memorial or something like that. And these are all, all external items that are meant to, to, to shape our conscience and shape our will. And, and, and in doing that, it gives us rudders and, and it gives us, it gives us the proper orientation for, for, for the sales of our, um, uh, lives. Right. And people and people that are without a tradition, and you can say the same thing for, for, you know, a country without a, tra without a tradition or, or, or people or countries that have been, um, that have been separated from, from their tradition, they're, they're sort of like orphans. Right. You know, they're, they're, they're not being protected with, they're not being protected by that ancestral, um, uh, by that ancestral tradition that that's passed down to them saying, 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 don't do this, do this. You, you, you brought up, uh, you brought up grandma with diabetes earlier right. and, you know, and, and I think, I think like diet is a very interesting thing because typically it doesn't really matter where in the world you look, people that are still eating their traditional diets, you know, they're, they're much less likely to get diabetes than people that are eating this, like the standard American diet, you know, right. laden with seed oils and sugars and all kinds of things. Right. Um, and, and it doesn't really matter whether it's a carb heavy diet or a carnivore heavy diet or something in between. Right. If it's an ancestral diet, that's tradition that's passed down something external. Um, you know, those people aren't orphans. They're, they're still kind of protected by that, uh, by that tradition. You know, and, and they're also not having to spend their time spinning their wheels thinking, well, well, what should I eat? What should I do? What should I not eat? What should I not do? They're they're able to kind of hone in earlier on in life um, and decide, OK, this is what I'm going to do or and this is what I should do. This is what I should not do. Right. Right. And, you, and you know, I mean, I, I think that um, it's it's sort of, you know, strange how we all sort of in this country now, you know, we have this idea of multiculturalism and, you know, and we have this kind of culture of fitness and, and things of that nature. You know, we all want to be healthy. We want to be, you know, fit. We want to do the right things. But, um, you know, it's, it's a different story when it comes to um, sort of the media's interest in trying to, you know, sell you stuff and, you know, their constant bombardment of, 
you know, trying to get your attention, you know, whether, whether it's with food or fashion or what have you. And I, I again, you know, I, I think it's right to say like, these are, these are all distractions, right? Yeah. Um, because, you know, like you were talking about food and stuff, right? The, 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 you know, I mean, you know, this is, this is, of course, like a, you know, just taking one factor here, you know, is that, you know, um, you know, preparation of meals and food and stuff w- was a way to have family be together, you know, and, sp- and spend time with one another, right? And that was very much, I think that's very much a part of sort of, a, 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 you know, Western values. I mean, I think it's part of a part of human human value at large, but, you know, it um, somehow that, that, um, that has stalled, you know, here. And I, and I think that goes along with this idea that, you know, in the West, Christianity is no, has, right. become, has, has sort of, it has stopped beca- being the, the very foundation for us to guide us towards progress, right? And so, yep. you know, in a quote here, you know, he says, you know, I think, I think of Christianity as deeply historical. Um, some sense of a certain type of progress of history is a deep part of Christianity. And from this perspective, the notion that there exists an unchanging human nature doesn't really fit with the Christian outlook, but belongs, as he puts it, more in the classical than the Christian tradition. So, you know, what, what I took from that is this idea that, um, you know, for a long time, you know, our, our Western uh, tradition when it comes to education and family <clears throat> or, or what have you, it's been this idea, you know, especially within academia that, um, you know, Greek literature or the classics are what's more important because, you know, that's what guides, that's what has helped to guide like our politics and, mm-hmm. you know, and, and our um, educational uh, systems and things of that nature. But again, you know, I think, I think, I think this idea that um, humanity cannot progress or go forward, you know, and, and sort of, you know, I guess in a Christian way, you might say, um, help to bring about the kingdom of God, you know, on earth has sort of stalled, you know, we're, um, you know, we're, 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 we're in this um, sort of, we, 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 I think we think of the world right now as sort of being cyclical, right? That, that it, it's never changing and it's just going to be yes. this, cycle, this endless cycle of, um, you know, being born, you know, you get married, have children, you know, or whatever it is that you're doing these days, you know, and um, you get sick and you, you die, right? And the remedy for that, to me, um, up until now with, you know, or at present is, you know, this idea that, um, you know, well, it's, a, it's about how can you, um, you know, every, everything is in your head, everything, it's about the way you're mm-hmm. thinking, about things. you know, you need to just, um, you know, you need to, you need to meditate, you need to do some yoga, you need to go to some psychotherapy, you know, you need to take some, some kind of medication, you know, basically this idea of tuning out, right, and not, not being worried about the world around you. But, you know, for me, um, I think that that is what perpetuates the kind of stagnation that we have right now, right? You know, if you want to talk about mental illness, if you want to talk about, uh, you know, you want to talk about the political sphere and how much that has kind of, you know, become a, a really big issue. You know, I, I really think the foundation here is, or what, what's what the, the problem is, is that we've lost our way. You know, we've lost yes. our way and we don't really have a guide or we're, we're not using the guide that, that, that we were given. Right. Well, well, and, and, uh, and, and if, if, if we want to put a word to it, I, I, I would say the, I would say the, the prime, the culprit that, that, that Peter Thiel is, um, that the Peter Thiel alludes to, which, which I, I don't think Peter Thiel has ever called it out by this name, but modernism, you know, mm-hmm. and, and, and modernism is, is the, uh, is, is it, it, there, there are a lot of definitions of modernism, but, but the, the common thread among all of them is a, is is a skepticism of 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 uh of tradition right and and mo- you know modernists uh believe that that 
that everything on the external really doesn't matter a whole lot, that there's, that there's really nothing that you can learn on the outside right. that, that can, that can contribute to what you have going on on the inside. And like what you just said, psychotherapy, yoga, meditation, and, and all this stuff, although all of those things have benefit or there, there are a lot of benefits associated with those things. Yeah. Um, you know, that's not the whole enchilada, you yeah. know, the, the modernist will say, We'll, we'll say that's the most important thing and then and then kind of and then discard everything else because everything else really doesn't matter everything else is just a mere projection of of of, of what you of your feelings that you have inside right. um but the 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 truth is is that that us as humans we need tradition if yeah. if we're going to maintain any if we're if we're gonna if we're gonna maintain our semblance of civilization we have to keep we, we, we have to maintain our tradition and, 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 uh, and like what you said before, Christianity is the tradition, you know, and, and, uh, and that's one of the reasons in our world today, I think we have, um, we have all of these, these cheap, poor, toxic replacements for tradition, like, um, you know, and, and I, I, this, this might upset a lot of people, but, but like, uh, like white nationalism, veganism, um, you know, communism, you know, you know, even capitalism, you know, libertarianism, all these isms, they, they become ideological replacements for, for big T tradition, for, for our Christian, for our Christian tradition that, tr that transcends, that tra it transcends the globe. Right. And, and what, what we're facing now is, is um, because, because in the West, the you know the club of rome which which um which which the article um you know talks about mm -hmm. the the club of rome which was a bunch of academics and and uh and industrialists and all kinds of people that that you could argue probably don't have probably never had yours or my best interest at heart um you know they 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 were looking to promote a world that was not based upon the marrying of tradition and and the uh and in our reality they just wanted they wanted to discard they wanted to completely discard tradition right. and turn us into traditionless orphans right and and i'm going to put on a tinfoil hat here a a traditionless a traditionless orphan um makes a great consumer oh, wow you know okay. you know you you can sell cheap seed oils to a to a traditionless orphan you you can sell a traditionless orphan some some fake bottle of of snake oil or some or some some fake cheap imitation of hope yeah and and they're going to be their perfect prey for it right right well let me let me let me let me ask you this because i'm you know i'm trying to figure out where 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 this started from like where did, where did we get this idea that um christianity was no longer sort of the, the bedrock or the foundation for you know, um, um, you know, human uh, for 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 uh, societal progression, right? Where where do you think uh, we can kind of trace the the origins of that of that thinking? So, in 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 my humble opinion, there are there are a couple of places we can we can look to. Um, one would be the the protestant reformation okay um which which and when, when i talk about the protestant reformation I, I don't only mean um mean uh mean mean martin luther and and calvin i i, I even mean going going back a little bit go, going back a little bit further to to henry the eighth in england and the founding of the anglican the founding of the anglican church because um because it, it was really with the founding of the of the Anglican Church, which I have a lot of a lot of um, very close friends that are Anglicans. I have a lot of very close friends and family members that are that are that are all walks of Protestant and and Catholic as well. You know, mm -hmm. so so I'm so I'm I'm not trying to I'm not trying to to throw dirt on anybody. Yes. Um, but but the thing is that was really the time when when in the West we started saying your religion it's it's a personal thing right. it's not it's not an objective external thing and and that's really it and 
and that's really when we began um, uh, kind of weaning ourselves off of tradition. And, and then successively, we kind of, we, we fully severed ties with, with, with tradition. And then, yeah, so, so, so that's, that's where I would say the beginning of it was in the West. Right. Okay. And, 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 you know, some, some, you know, some, some might say, well, you know, um, you know, look, you know, uh, Christianity had, had its run, it was good, you know, but it's not the end all be all to, to our, uh, to our civilization. Like we, you know, we've come, we've come a long way, you know, um, you know, it's, it's more so mm-hmm. like, because I, I, I think that, you know, we've gotten to this, this point of talking about psychology and, and, and sort of everything being in a, in a mental state. Yeah. Um, you know, because of, because of, you know, of course, you know, the, 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 the I think that the, 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 you know, the Reformation has, has a part to play in this, you know, the Enlightenment has a part to play in this. And, you know, the, the, the revolutions that took place have a part to play. Oh, in certainly. And, and I'd say all of those things were downstream from the 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 reformation right right and and it seems like you know since say maybe like i don't know maybe 10 or 15 years ago you know we we kind of got back into this idea of thinking about um you know biology and and all this stuff and so you have like people like dawkins you know richard dawkins and stuff Mm -hmm. like that you know basically argue that we're nothing but a clump of you know Clump of sales or it's all yes. biology and chemistry, right? And you know, I, I I remember you know hearing a lot of that kind of stuff when I was in high school and going through college. You know that. Oh, me too. Yeah, you know, we don't we don't really have. There's nothing real really meaningful, and so because because we sort of got into that mode of thinking, you know, whether it's academically or or what have you you started to see this, well, if there's, if, if we're just a bunch of cells or we're just chemistry and we're just, you know, whatever, well then one, um, you know, this proves that, well, Christianity can't be, you know, can't be the only, it can't be the truth or, you know, it can't have any Mm -hmm. value. It's just, it's just another religion that is trying to get to the top of the mountain, you know, or something like that. Right. And, you know, and people started to get into this mode of thinking about, you know, well, if I can just change the way I think about things, you know, if I can just change the way I, I view things, um, you know, it's all, it's all illusion, you know, it's all an illusion, sort of like what, what Buddhism sort of exclaims, you know, it's, it's, it's every, Mm -hmm. you know, your suffering or whatever you're going through is, is an illusion, right? And so you might as well just go ahead and, and um, re, reorient the way you think about these things, right? And not so much um, actually engage with it and tackle that. Right. Yeah. And this is why, this is why I think a lot of people, you know, come to this conclusion that Christianity is no longer effective is because, you know, we have, we have not, um, we have not tried to really engage, you know, the tradition with like advancing the world for the better. You know, so, you know, for me, I think it's vital, you know, to have, oh, yeah, have, have, have a, have a, have a view of the world that like the external world, right? Like we're not monks. We're not, you know, we're not sitting in a monastery, you know, I mean, these are real problems in the world, you know, diseases are a problem, you know, whatever. And, and, you know, even if you want to talk about it from, from a political side, like, yes, you know, victims have, have, you know, th- th- this idea of victimhood and stuff, it, it has relevance, you know, it's, it is important. I mean, I don't think we should just completely do away with that, especially, you know, from a Christian view. But the question is, what are we going to do about it? You know, and if we, if we stay in this mode of thinking about things politically and trying to, you know, it's, it's all about the vote and it's all about who, you know, who, who, who can you get to, you know, and, and or how, how can you, how, how can you beat your enemy or, or something like that? you know, um, you know, well, yeah, you you know, I think, I think the most, I think the most effective way to, to prevent someone from going any from, from, to prevent somebody from going anywhere 
is mm-hmm. to is to make them forget where they've come from. Right. And and I and I think that is where I think that is where we find ourselves today. And 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 there's a a a sense in in the air that there's a sense in the country among people. And you know, I I I think a lot a lot of people feel feel that they have been separated from 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 their tradition, and and they don't and they can't quite put their finger on on exactly what that tradition is so so you have so 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 and you know and this this is where where the internet comes in you know a lot of people have have gone online and they start looking up you know they start looking up different traditions that 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 they can try to plug themselves into you know like you have um you you have some people that that identify as being um as being uh you know uh like 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 French nationalists and they, mm. they might be living in Omaha, Nebraska, and they've never, they've never been to France. They may have never even been to a French restaurant, right. you know, and, and, right. and, 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 you know, but, but the thing is they, they have that, that, that sense, that gut feeling where they know I'm just, I, I'm just a dog. I, I'm just a dog chasing my tail here. Mm. Um, I, d- I don't have any sense of direction because I, cause I, I don't know where, I don't know where I've been you know, collectively in, in the sense that I, I don't have a tradition to help direct me. Right. And, right. and, you know, and, and, uh, and, and I think that presents, I think that presents us, um, um, us, us Christians with, with one heck of an opportunity because, because we have people that are clamoring for, for, tr- for, for tradition mm-hmm. and, and we have it. But right. but the problem is, so many of us we uh, we have been cut off from our tradition by by the powers that be by really really by by the previous generations uh, either by them being a part of severing ties with the previous religion or, or I'm sorry with the w- w- with the tradition or, or or them just kind of or them just passively cooperating with it. Right. They um you know so so I think that presents an opportunity for us to to reestablish our connection yes. um and and even add to it because and that that's really the beauty you know to me that's the beauty of of the of the uh, christian tradition uh, really of of catholicism mm-hmm. is that we say um we say we rebuke all the evil um in 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 a in a society's culture right but but we we allow and encourage them to keep the things that are good Right. You know, and, and, um, and, you know, and in many ways we, we can learn some things from, from the things that they have that, that, that are going on that are good. I'll, I'll give you an example, like, okay. um, like the, the, like the Spanish going into, um, to, uh, I, I don't remember what, what the capital city of, of the Aztec empire was, but, but when the when the the Spanish went into the um, you know first had their interaction with the Aztecs, they saw yeah. that the Aztecs were commit were, were committing human sacrifices, which which is objectively evil, and right. you know the most atheistic atheist in the world I think would agree human sacrifice is evil and must be stopped. Right. So 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 they put an so you know they put a kibosh on that real fast, but <laughs> but there are native traditions that are a part of Mexican Catholicism mm-hmm. that, that are, that, that are informed by, by, um, by, by pre-Columbian traditions right. um, that, that are still there be, because, because the church looked at those things and said, well, the, uh, these are not evil. These do right. not detract from the kingship of Christ. Right. You know, right. the, the uh, these, these add more flavor to the uh, meal. Right. But, you know, and and that's that's interesting that you said that because there, there was a Pete there was a part in here about with the article about this idea of um, uh, it talked about the British Empire, right? And mm-hmm. and uh, I'll just I'll just read a part here. It says, um, um, I ask him that that we could hold the world of faith and of science and technology in, in equilibrium. He appears to view this once again as a largely irrelevant academic question. The real implosion of mass religiosity in Britain, he suggests, coincided with the end of the British Empire, right? And so, you know, um, 
you know, and then, he, you know, he even goes on to say, you know, that, that like somehow Christianity maps well onto like the decline in, in Christianity. It, it goes well with this idea that like you have the decline of, 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 of colonialism. Yes. Uh, and so, you know, because of course, like th this, this debate is, it always comes up of like, you know, colonialism was like the, what was one of the worst things to happen to, you know, mankind, like, it, 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 you know, devastated societies, it, you know, made them, um, you know, even more, it made their society even, even more uh, problematic, right? But then when you, when you get into this conversation about, like, talking about, like, human sacrifice and things of that nature, right, which is really, you know, it, it boils down to this idea of, of you know, uh, having some sort of, uh, um, way to to have you know mediation within within the society right and 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 you know they, mm -hmm. they, they have a way to contain the, their violence right it's through through human sacrifice well you know you can you can you know if even if you want to start with the spanish you know or you can go into speaking about you know later periods of colonialism you know when the french enter and the french and british enter into you know africa and southeast asia you know, you could say that like um, there's 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 two parts of this, right? It's it's there's one side which I think is is political, politically driven, right? And and that to me is you know, and and this is where I this is where I, I kind of kind of kind of I get confused too because I'm kind of like, well, you know, yeah, you could say the colonial you know um, enterprise was was um, had a negative side to it, mm -hmm. but I honestly believe that's because the political side to colonialism grafted itself onto Christianity. It grafted itself onto the Christian mission. Right? Yes, they use the Christian mission to say, you know, we're we're going out to make disciples of men, you know. But really, it was we're going out to to take, you know, to to <laughs> establish our authority throughout the throughout the world, right? And so there's these two components there. And I, and I think, you know, it's, um, you know, when you talk about empire, you know, it's like, well, what kind of empire are you trying to build? What kind of kingdom are you trying to build? You know, is it one in, in which it's going to be totally, um, you know, about subjugation or, or forcing people in, you know, into um, some sort of, um, you know, acceptance of, of what you're doing and saying, or is it going to be like, well, actually, no, we're doing these good things. Like we're building schools, you know, we're building hospitals. We're, you know, um, you know, we're ensuring that the next generation is not stuck in say a, um, you know, in a, in a um, stagnant society. Right. And I, and yeah. I think that for the most part, a lot of the Christian missionaries, that's the way they were looking at it. Like oh this society this society is stagnant, right? Because it 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 has this again this cyclical view of time this this cyclical view of of you know mankind where it's you know it's 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 um you know it's you know you're born you you know all these things and then you you know you die right you suffer from whatever and you pass away or something like that right and I think that you know for whatever it's worth. I think that the, the the you know the goods the 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 good that came out of colonialism was the fact that it was able to bring the Christian message to other people, mm -hmm. and you know bring bring about some good. You know, I I don't think that it was completely a negative. You know. So so I I would say so what I would submit to you is this is that there were two categorically there were two types of of european colonialism there was the european colonialism that was um that, that was unique really uniquely british mm -hmm. that, that kind of at its heart was the this assumption of of english superiority okay. you know and 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 the and the evidence i would point to for that are i i, I don't know if you've ever read a book um by uh, it's called Tragedy and Hope by Carol Quigley, and and he was a a big Western civil. He he was really one of the last 
last prolific Western civilization professors at Princeton, I think. And, and he was one of Bill Clinton's professors when he was in school, you know, oh. so, so that should be a sign to you that he wasn't exactly a very good guy, uh, um, Quigley, <laughs> but, <laughs> but, but, but Quigley, you know, goes into, he, he spends a lot of this book going into looking at what are called round table groups that, that, that the British would set up anywhere that they would set up colonies and okay. one of the purposes of this was to what was to um to be like a a beating heart of of english of of english culture that would maintain english supremacy wherever they went okay and and so so it set up kind of a a line of demarcation between between the british and everybody else and and you know if you've ever been to to the to the uh to like yorktown and jamestown and um, and if you've if you've ever been to the English settlements, they're very unique. They're very different from the old Spanish and French settlements in the sense that you see a lot of th- things are very, very walled off. You know, you've got you, you've you got where the English settlers would live and then you've got, you know, the expanses where every, where all the natives would be or or, or even the, and the slave quarters and all that kind of stuff. Okay. Well, and so and then, then you've got um, so, you know, I live in Florida. Mm-hmm. And, and, you know, the, the oldest city in the United States is St. Augustine. Right. And in, in fact, St. Augustine has something that's called, it's called the sacred acre. It, it's the, it's the spot where the first mass in the United States was celebrated in, in like, I don't know, like 1520 or something like that. Right. right. Um, but the Spanish and the French, um, probably informed by their Catholicism, mm-hmm. didn't, didn't view um ethnicity as being the 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 transcendent principle in in their in their culture and in their society like they they didn't necessarily view um view their you know the the package of tradition that that they would receive like their 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 inheritance of tradition as being french or being spanish they you know there was definitely a component of that but the the biggest part of it was their catholic faith okay Right. Um, and then the British had more of a view of of their of your faith as a personal thing. That's you make a personal you you make a personal decision. It, it's a personal thing. Mm-hmm. Um, which yeah yeah you're baptized at birth and everything, but but it it was a very very personal thing. Right. Um, but the transcendent principle was your English, your English ethnicity and the English culture. You know, right. you know, and and so so and and again the the Spanish and the French and, and all the uh, Catholic countries were not perfect by any means. You, you know, they, you know, they, they did atrocious things to their colonies too. But, but, but what I would say is this, is that there's a, there was definitely a different ethic in those colonies versus the English colonies that was more, that was more embracing of diversity and more, um, and, and more, more of a melting pot. Like, like for instance, again, I'll bring up St. Augustine, the first inter interracial marriage in the um in North America, the first documented one was in St. Augustine in the beginning of the 16th century. So probably like probably the 1520s, right around the time when the first mass was celebrated. Mm-hmm. And I believe it was between a a freed slave and a um and a Spanish settler, I think. I could be wrong on that. Right. Yeah. Wow. You know, that would have never happened at that time in a, in a, in a, in a British colony. And, and the only reason I bring that up, I'm not trying to point the finger and say, aha, racist or, or, or something. Oh. I'm, I'm just trying to say that, um, that, that there is a clear difference in the, in just the outlook in the ethic where, mm-hmm. where your, um, and maybe it has to do with tradition being rather than tradition being the subjective person or your, your faith tradition being the subjective personal thing, in in like in the british sense and really in the protestant sense versus the catholic sense where where it's this 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 transcendent thing that you are you're surrounded by you know the statues and right. and um and murals and stained glass and the crucifix and the altar and 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 all that and blessed palms and all that kind of stuff you know right more it's more like it's more tangible right it's yes more, it has a more it has a more tangible um, form to it, and and you know, 
and I'm I'm thinking here. So do you think that like say that um, Protestantism because it you know and again this is not to pick on Protestant because I think I think that all Christian denominations have some that have some um, something to add you know mm -hmm. there you know in in all of this but i do i do think that um sort of the the the, the you know the the protestant form of christianity has um has 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 an issue with this idea you know with 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 the with the embodiment of christ right that yeah like it's it's not um materialized right and and so in other words everything is sort of textualized right it's textualized and it's also, um, it's, uh, it's, that's a good point. Yeah. You know, it's, it's, it's textualized. And, and I, and I would say it's also, you know, I don't know if this is the right word to use, but I'm going to use it. You know, I think it's, it's much more metaphysical in the sense that mm -hmm. it, it, it looks at Christ and everything that's spiritual as being beyond sort of, um, uh, sort of be, be, just, you know, beyond the, beyond the physical world. Right. Well, well, and 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 I I'd say that that's a that that that's a result of of the skepticism of of externalizing tradition that that it that it's got to be a personal it's got to be a subjective personal thing, right, right. So it has to be about the the individual and the and the way that they and the way that they feel about it. Yeah. Right? Now, you know, but now here's 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 another here's another thing that I think has also contributed to. This this sort of uh, the the waning of Christianity on uh, on Western Western culture um, is is this because I've been hearing this quite a bit um, over the past couple of weeks and this is this idea that mm -hmm. Christ, Christianity one doesn't defend itself you know yeah. it's it, it's a weak religion because it doesn't defend what it really believes. And then, of course, there's the, the the hypocrisy. You know, people say, "Well, they don't actually believe what they say," you know, and things like that. But I'm speaking here in terms of like Christians don't defend themselves. Christians don't stand up for themselves. You know, Christians don't, you mm -hmm. know, um, answer the call when 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 there's some sort of problem, right? Yeah. And I and my answer to that would be like this: the reason why Christianity is not answered to those things because those those are those are not, you know, it's not worth it's not worth that, right? Like Christianity sees the real problem, which is what, you know, this article kind of, I think laid out, which is this mm -hmm. idea of formation. Every, every, you know, and, and, and the thing about it is, it's like, okay, you can say what you want to say about Christianity, but there, there is no other religion that has given us the progress that we've, we've had up until now. Right. We, yeah. we, we, there isn't any other religion that has been <laughs> able to give us the society in which we can choose to forego the Christian message or not. You know, I mean, that that's Christianity giving that to you, right? Yes. The freedom, the freedom to choose and not choose, you know, and, 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 and I can't, you know, I can't, I can't be like de facto and say like, this is a fact that no, you know, in the past, no, no other religion would have allowed that. But I'm pretty, I'm quite sure that, you know, because those religions are tied to a sort of, archaic or pre-Christian worldview, yes, they would not have been okay with you opting out or saying that, you know, you're, you're, you you know, you choose to be something else. I mean, that's the whole, I think that's what led to the, the, you know, the real, um, you know, formation of Christianity, say within the Roman empire, right? Because you couldn't, you couldn't really opt out to um, give sacrifice to the emperor, right? You couldn't, right opt out to pay homage or pay, you know, whatever dues or something like that, right? You you had to do that. And here, you know, it is Christianity is saying, no, we're not going to do that. You know, and 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 you know, and I and I mean I think this is true for you know the um for for ancient Judaism, you know, and things like that, you know, ancient Israelite culture. Mm -hmm. Right. So there, there seems to be some 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 continuation of that, right? But you know, to me, it, it really is that Christianity has given us the freedom to, 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 to even have these sort of debates, you know, and have the, this questioning of, of Christianity, you know, saying that it's a weak religion and saying that it, you know, it, it doesn't defend itself, you know. But my thing is, is, you know, Christianity is not in need of defense, 
No. Right? It, it, because it's tr- because it's the truth. Right. And the, the proof's truth, in the pudding. Right. And the, and the proof is in the pudding. <laughs> Right. I mean, there, there, you know, the proof is in the pudding. Right. So we can make all these statements about, you know, uh, you know, some people saying, well, Christianity is just like every other religion or Christianity is a weak religion. You know, but the fact is, is that, you know, I mean, you think about, you know, because everybody has this idea of, you know, and, and, and the article had discussed this, like this idea that, you know, there's no going back to the past. Right? No. You can't, can't return to, you know, um, some period in time in which we have nostalgia for, right? But in the same in the same token, like, you know, no other civilization but the, but the Western civilization or a Christian civilization has been able to open up the doors of scientific progress. Like we would not have penicillin, you know, we wouldn't That's have, right. you know, whatever else it is you want to say, you know what I mean? So this this idea, first of all, I don't think I, I don't think people should be trying to go back to the past because I don't think you really would want to be there in the first place. You know, it's not <laughs> it's not yeah. exactly it's not exactly a, a a quaint you know place to be. You know, but but you know, I just it's 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 you know it's it's because of Christianity that this idea of progress, you know, building up of technology. In a, in a, in a, in a, you know, macro tech, you know, yes, you know, a more, um, and, you know, a more, you know, well, he used the term like bits rather, you know, atoms rather than bits, you know, and so this, this idea of really having real progress, you know, like, like, you know, um, this idea that, you know, like having, having, you know, faster speed, you know, um, you know, fixing the infrastructure, you know, uh, the, 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 you know, scientific progress, you know, in, in a real way, right, that that is actually uh, changing people's lives, right. And, um, you know, and it's not just some sort of uh, 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 band aid, you know, on, 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 on in, in our lives where, you know, we're just we're just kind of like, you know, sitting there and, you know, well, as long as I have my phone, as long as I have this, I'm, I'm good, you know, and it's like, there, there, there isn't, you know, none of that is going to actually uh, give you, uh, you know, happiness, right? Right. Because, 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 because again, it, 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 I think it boils down to what you were talking about, which is this idea of kind of an in, individual gratification, right? So it starts with this idea of kind of the religious, right? Like as an individual, you know, you, you, you know, it's a personal relationship, you know, all this stuff, right? Well, I think that that is translated into sort of the way we do tech too, right? It's, it's, it's translated in the way we do science, the way we think about science and tech and, you know, all these things, right? In education, it's all subjective, right? And so if we can just get the individual to be happy, every single individual to be happy, with being on Facebook or being on their phones and social media, you know what I mean? And, and occasionally you go out on the weekends and you go, you know, have a drink or two, you know, and spend that time with your buddies, right? Mm-hmm. Well, that's all good and fine, right? But we, 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 you know, you know, like in the article it said, we, we can't even get to a, we can't even get to a point to where we can really have a conversation about what's really going on in our society and how stagnant it is. And we don't see that. And, and that politicians keep on, and, and people within Silicon Valley and, you know, everything else, they keep perpetuating that, that right? You know, he said that, that, what does he say? Something like, uh, you know, the, the left, meaning here, you know, it's he, talking about Silicon Valley and, and, and the tech guy, you know, yep. the tech and all that, right? Are, are sort of, because they have the, the expertise, they tell society, no, we, we are progressing, right? And, you know, the, the people like us, you know, we just go ahead and accept that, right? And he says, like, you know, people on the right tend to accept, you know, tend to accept what the left is saying or what, what people in the tech bros and whatever is, is saying about progress. But it's all, it's a lie. You know, it's not, it's not, it's not actually happening. You know? Yeah, it, um, in, in, in fact, here, I'll go ahead and read that the portion of the article you're referring to okay. um uh patrick deenan 
author of the best-selling 2018 book, Why Liberalism Failed, um, argue, uh, argues that many, many contemporary social ills are an effect of the way that liberal project, that the liberal project cannibalizes social goods such as the family, um, uh, religious faith, or the family and religious faith in order to pursue narrow metrics such as personal freedom on the left or on the right economic growth. Right. Teal sees many of these same ills as Deenan, uh, but offers a strikingly different framing. We're consuming ourselves not because the fixation on progress is inevitably self-destructive beyond a certain threshold, but because material progress has objectively stalled while we remain collectively in denial about this fact. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. You see, that's, the, that, 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 you know, and that's what I mean. So now, now, you know, my, my question is, is that, you know, how do we get, how do we sort of get out of that, um, that stagnation, right? And, you know, in, in, um, you know, in the article, of course, you know, mm -hmm. Uh, t you know, Teal says like, well, you know, Christianity, of course, is a, is, is, is a real component to that. You know, it's probably, the yes. component, you know, and that, um, you know, if we could, if we could re, you know, if we could incorporate that again into our society, you know, at these fundamental levels, like with education, you know, I mean, I hear, you know, here I say again, like, I think really what, it, what, it, what is, what is, what is disheartening especially within our educational sector, is that we have uh, sort of expelled Christianity, right? We, we've expelled that part of our, um, you know, the, the very most, the, the most vital part of our society, yeah. right? Um, which is the, the Christian message of hope and, 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 you know, progress and moving forward, you know, for the better, right? And, um, you know, I think without that, that it is true that either, either, we're, either, we're, either we're coming to a point to where like something, you know, it's, it's just gonna be like this, this um, you know, end of day, you know, end of days type thing, you mm -hmm. know, when, 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 you know, when you hear like a lot of Protestants will talk about, you know, um, uh, what what is that word like, like the the apocalypse or, or or the end of the world? Yeah, the, like the apocalypse or end of the world, or you know, the, like Armageddon. Yes, you know, it, yeah. You know, Armageddon's got to come. It's either that or it's what you know what um, part of the article alluded to, which is this idea that we, we're just going to like be in this perpetual state of epicureanism. Yes, right? you're only going to live once. You might as well live happily and to the best of your ability. Which I think that's where we are right right now. I think are in a state of Epicureanism, right? It's like whatever feels good to you and whatever makes you happy, you might as well do that because you're you're not going to live a long life. You probably might even live a shorter life than your grandparents did. You know what I mean? It's so it's so it's almost depressing, man, because it's like, well, what does that leave for for the next generation? You know, and if that's the case, then yeah, all these people who are talking about not having children and stuff, you know, maybe they're right. Right. If we if you can't, you know, because if you can't, if, if, if you have a society that cannot grow. And, and cannot, you know, advance and, and move forward, that's I mean, the, the, and, and this is something, man, I, because I've always held to this idea. Like, I, I did not I did, I did not and I do not like Greek philosophy. I think it's right. a, I think it's a it, I think it's a real problem for for Christianity. Oh, it is. You know, I think it's, I think it's a real problem for Christianity because it has shaped, you know, the way that Christian Christians have thought about, you know, the gospels and the teachings of Christ. And in, and in other words, I guess what I'm saying is um, Athens has nothing to do with Jerusalem. <laughs> no, no, you're absolutely right. <laughs> you know what I mean? Athens has nothing to do with Jerusalem. We're leaving Athens over there. If they want to do that, you know, stuff, that's fine. But as as a, as a, as a Christian who believes in the Judeo-Christian message, who believes that you know that that humanity is progressing and we're we're going somewhere, we're on a we're on this journey 
but it's all it, it it's up to us to be to to participate in that you know christ laid the foundations this idea that christianity has laid so the seeds you know with, with christ's death and resurrection you know the seeds have already been sown it's already kind of going towards a you know there's already a teleology there right yes no, no pun intended you know <laughs> <laughs> there's already a tele teleology there and it and we're going somewhere but like i i would like to think of it like this right like our society might be stagnant and we're just kind of not you know we're, we're just kind of trying we're trying to figure it out and we just haven't gotten there yet you know what i mean we just haven't gotten to that point and like we you know, there's a chance that we may be like this forever, right? Which, which of course, I think will, will, will eventually lead to some kind of apocalyptic Armageddon type deal, right? Or mm -hmm. there's the there's the, the the progressing and moving forward, and you know that that like there's no limit to the progress that we can have, you know, and stuff like that, right? That's where I'm. I I. I for, for me, I, I want to think like that, right? Yes. I want to think this is like, you know, this is like a hiccup. It's a bump in the road, but we're, but we're, 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 we're getting somewhere. Like, I, I don't want to see the, the book of revelations played out in, in, in <laughs> humanity. You know what I mean? No, I don't think any of us do. <laughs> <laughs> you know, <laughs> so, you know, yeah, man. Um, now, you know, something so 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 something i'd say about uh, about teal's outlook you know how teal says that that, that we can't that we can't go back right. and i and i agree with him in the sense that obviously we cannot time travel back to the 1840s right. or 1750s or something right but um you know he so he he seems to look at it as if as if we need like a like a new composite of of what we had before plus something else and and that yes. and and that new addition we don't quite know exactly what that is yet yes. um and and we've got to kind of put them together and and i would have to say i disagree with him in uh, okay. i i disagree with him on that yes. um okay. uh that that what i think we need to do is is reconnect with our tradition and mm -hmm. and remember that that tradition is in in many ways, it's it's living and breathing in the way that the left views the views the U.S. Constitution, you know, right. but 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 the the way that it lives and breathes, it's it's within con, it's it's constrained to it, you know it, it can only be added to or developed further if if the new developments are consistent with with previous truths, you, you know, you can't just right. J j just over just throw throw one thing out that had been previously accepted as truth because because if you do that you know you'd be embracing truth as relative and we don't do that right um right. so right. so right. so what i would say is we need to reconnect with our um tradition mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. and and in truly doing that that's a way of us embracing order and mm -hmm. um and and specificity again right. and and in my mind, order and specificity are um, are the the destroyers of of ambiguity and and the cannibalism that that is uh, the, or the, the the cannibalistic culture that, that 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 the article discusses. You know, you know, cannibalizing social goods, family life, religious life, you know, etc. Um, you know that that. Uh, you know, and it, it's interesting because a a um, a very very ancient symbol of evil is the snake eating itself, mm -hmm. and and I and I think in many ways that is what we're dealing with. We're dealing with this this very ambiguous, very um, very fluid, this very relative, non specific um thing that has come to replace our tr our tradition our, our rich mm -hmm. tradition mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and and what we have to do is 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 slay the beast yeah. and 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 place christ back upon the throne what which, which, which christ was never removed from the throne but but right. but to but to to look to him once again yeah you know and yeah. Yeah. and 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 one more thing that i would say is mm -hmm. is the, is if we look back at the french revolution 
mm-hmm. you know, um, uh, liberty, fraternity, and equality. Yes. You know, and th- those were the three. Those were the three mantras of the French Revolution. They wanted to do away with tradition. They were. They wanted to do a, do away with tradition so badly that they were. They were willing to decapitate um, priests, nuns. They were willing to burn down churches and all kinds of stuff. Mm-hmm. Um, and and in many ways, that world of the only truths being fraternity, equality, and liberty. Mm-hmm. That's that's really the world that we're living in right now. Wow. Wow. And wow. so, so, so what I think we have to do, um, and, and, and I, and, and, and I think, I think that is what Peter Thiel is identifying is that, that, that we are divorced from our traditions. And those are the three things that reign. We have hostility toward anything that's hierarchical. Yes. Um, you know, so, and, and we have hostility toward anything that is not, um, that does not equalize everything. You know, wow. we, for some, you know, and, and I think in many ways, that's one of the reasons that 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 many people in the West, they have a really difficult time envisioning uh, the th- the throne room of God being, you know, being very hierarchical, having, you know, the saints and the blessed mother, you know, Christ reign, reigning as king, God, the father and this very, very stratified um, this very stratified reality that we live in, you know, they you know, they have been propagandized from a very very young age to believe everything is compressed and mm-hmm. equal and unless it's that then then somehow it's immoral yes wow. um so so uh, so I, I i think what it is it's vanquishing it's vanquishing the evil snake eating itself that right. that, that 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 is seated upon the throne of the west today and 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 looking to christ the king once again right right and i and and, and you know lastly um you know, with that, because I, I think you're I totally, totally right about this, right? But I'm just thinking here, like, you know, uh, one, I think one way to, one way to do that, right, is um, to, because here, I think here, this is where tradition and say, uh, being able to build on that tradition and create, create like a, a vision for the future is really important here. I think it comes, it, 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 um, one component would be uh, literature, you know, like, mm-hmm. Writing, writing book, you know, like how we had like Harry Potter and Lord of the Rings with Tolkien and, yeah. you know, Star Wars and things like that, like all those stories, all those, those, you know, fiction pieces to me seem to be really their foundation is, is a Christian one, right? Like, oh, I, 100%. I think you know, like all these, um, all the Jedi and stuff like that. And this might, this might get geeky, but I don't care, <laughs> you know, all the Jedi and stuff like they're all like, sort of like, um, they're fighting the good fight of faith. Yes. You know, they, they know there's a possibility they may, they may die, but like the force is still with them. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. they still, they, you know, they still believe in the force, like no matter what planet they're on, you know? And, and, and that's how it's like, it gives you, it revives your, 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 you know, cause like when you, I don't know about you, man, but when I was a kid, I would see some movie or something like that. And I'll just give you an example. Um, uh, there was a there was a, a, a docudrama or something like that, and it was it was mm-hmm. about Shaka Zulu, right? Mm-hmm. So you know, I remember being a kid and I saw that that whole series. It was on the History Channel. This is a long time ago, you know, when I was a kid, and uh, you know, I wanted to be like Shaka. <laughs> you know, I wanted to, I didn't, you know, I, I didn't really know what that meant at the time, you know, as a child, but I, I wanted to be, you know, I wanted to be strong, like Shaka, have a, have a, you know, be the king, you know, all this stuff or like, you know, um, you know, or, 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 you know, when I started, when I started, um, you know, watching Lord of the Rings and stuff, you know, I want, mm-hmm. I wanted to be like the, the, the humans that, you know, okay, they, they, you know, their past was destroyed or something like that. Parts of it had, they, you know, like with the humans in, in the Lord of the Rings, it was, they were kind of un, un, they didn't really know themselves well. Right. They were kind of like, everything was kind of cloudy. You know what I mean? And, and that, that's sort of what I think an apocalypse sort of looks like. It's sort of like this hazy, you don't really know whatever, what, what's happening and it's not clear, but then things become more clear to you. Things become you know, much more like, you know, who's, who's on which side and you know, who is like fighting, you know, 
on on the in the name of God, you know, for for for, and I I don't mean like physically. I mean like you know, I mean like in terms of like progress and and, and tech and things like that. Like you know, who's fighting on the side of good by the way they respond to these these problems, mm -hmm. you know, and and so I I think I think you know one good component here would be to again revive this this idea of you know tell writing stories, you know. Um, you know, and I mean like positive ones, not ones that have some kind of like they end up in calamity or, you know, whatever. Like even if you talk about, um, you know, going going to space and and, and science, mm -hmm. you know, we shouldn't always have this kind of like, oh my God, you know, I'm, I'm about to go to outer space or you know, if we do this science project, everything's about to just blow up and stuff. I'm like, no, that's because of the way you're you're not putting it in a Christian perspective, right? because you're not putting it in a Christian perspective, you're thinking about all the catastrophes and all the calamities that could take place, right? But you're not looking at it from this idea of beating back and defeating, like you said, the, 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 the snake eating itself. Yes. Yeah. You know, but yeah. So I, you know, we'll, we'll, we, we, uh, you know, we'll, 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 uh, we'll, we'll leave it there for, for today, you know, uh, oh, can uh, can I can I bring up one more thing from the uh, I'm I'm going to bring up one more thing from the article. There's so yeah. so the the article the article finishes off by mm -hmm. by uh, by uh, pointing out that that the teal has has three main um, outlooks for the for the future of Europe, mm -hmm. and, oh, okay. and 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 none of them look look very bright and rosy. Uh, you know, <laughs> at least from like a European point of view that. That that it it could all be be like a like a big hive of uh, you know governed by Chinese AI, right? Um, or or it could be governed by by Islamic Sharia law, right? Or yeah. by far the worst the worst possible outcome would would be for Europe to be governed by Greta by Greta Thunberg's nightmare, <laughs> <laughs> you know, like like the. Yeah. The most hellacious Greta Thunberg um, outcome, you know, her her most hellacious vision would be the future of Europe, right? <laughs> and and you know the thing that I kind of you know the the thing I thought about those three different possible outcomes that, that they described Peter Thiel as you know forecasting could could be possible outcomes for Europe mm -hmm. is you know notice that that a that a Christian Europe a yeah. a Christian uh, resurgence is not one of the three possible outcomes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's interesting that you picked that up because I never, I didn't think of it like that. You know, I, I thought, of, I, to me, like the way I thought of it, man, was kind of like, oh, this is inevitable. One, one of yeah. those three is going to happen. You know what I mean? And it's, beca and it's precisely because of what you said. Like, th there's not option for a re resurgence or, you know, revival of, 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 of a Christianity within Europe. And so that's, yeah. you know, and so, and so, and so, and so, you know, and it be, and, and it because he, he, he kind of has this thing of, um, you know, talking about seeing the U.S. today as how Great Britain was in, I forget, like the 1970s or 80s or something like that, you know, it's like, well, what does that say about the United States? If, if, yeah. if, if Europe is already in this stage where, like, there's no like this is one of the three outcomes, then can we say that eventually that that might be the case for, for the U.S. too? Like, I don't want to, you know, like, I don't want to think like that, man. I don't want to yeah. think like that. That's a, that's a very, it's a very disheartening, you know, set of outcomes. Yeah. Of possibilities. I'm like, you know, um, yes, I have respect for, yes, I have respect for the earth. I think that's a Christian, you know, a Christian, Christian thing to, to, you know, a Christian way to 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 believe, you know, think, right? That you know, yeah. respecting the earth, right? But like to, to to this extreme, where we're just, you know, like like like, you know, where we where we where we, you know, we're picking up, we're doing all these things, like building windmills and solar panels and all this kind of stuff. And it's like, you know, last I checked, we've been doing that for a very long time, and it doesn't seem to really be working. You know what I mean? So you know, I'm not saying it's totally, totally yeah. a bad thing, but I'm, I'm just saying, like, I, I, I think there's other stuff we could be doing when we're talking about, you know, ecology and, you know, how to sustain the, the, the earth and, you know, all of that. Um, 
And another interesting thing to me is that uh, that liberty, fraternity, and equality, it, 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 that that's not one of the three um, uh, futures that, that Peter Thiel um, <laughs> envisions for, for Europe either. And, and that kind of goes to reinforce my point that that evil is, that evil is an ambiguous snake that's eating itself. You, you know that that evil, I, 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 you know, I think people people have a tendency. And and for most of my life, I had the I, I had the tendency to always think that that evil was this this equivalent monolith. You know, like if if if, if good is a one hundred foot tower, then 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 evil would be a one hundred foot uh, deep abyss. You know, or right. or like 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 a one hundred foot deep trench. Right. Um. But that's actually not not really the way that 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 true evil operates you know um e- you know evil it's a self-consuming thing you know it, it, it it's it's committing cannibalism against itself so so i don't really think it should surprise us that that um that out out of the europe's likely outcomes as, as envisioned by peter Thiel, that that the current um that the current uh uh reign of of fraternity liberty and equality that that's not that that that's not one of the options that he envisions, and and I, I would even venture to say that something like Chinese AI, you know, Chinese artificial intelligence, that is not really going to be grounded in a whole lot of tradition. That one's not going to have a whole lot of staying power either. Right. You know right. the you know if if, if I were going to bet money on any one of these three, Chinese artificial intelligence, Islamic Sharia law, or or Greta Thunberg's hellacious nightmare, I I I would put money on Islamic Sharia law because because at least that one is based on you know that one has a tradi- it, it it's got a tradition. Right. Right. It's, you know, it, it's tangible. Yeah. 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 No, I I I I totally. I, I think there's 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 something to be said, you know, for, for that. Um, yeah, and I and I, I mean I, I think that I think that with Islam there's there's much more of a there's a participation by hu- humans, right, to actually engage in this this th- that enterprise of sort of you know building a political um, state, you know, um, and of course you know this is not all Muslims, but I think. You know, the, the, this is this is one of the components there. You know, which, um, you know, but but of course, Europe is is already sort of plagued by that. Um, that sort of uh, so, some of those issues. You know, when it when it comes to Islam. You know, well, and, well, and, and and you know, that's what, so so. Granted, I I I don't know a whole lot about Islam, and and um, but but one one thing I'll say is this, and and of course, this is from. From from my eyes as an outsider looking in, um, it it seems that that more Muslims are are in touch with are are in touch with their tradition and still connected with their tradition than than your average Western evangelical Christian or well I, I let let me remove the word evangelical than just your average Western Christian, right, right, right. I I I I, I, I think you're right about that. Not but I, but I think that. I think that at the same time, like that you could say that about a lot of different, you know, a lot of the, a lot of the, a lot of religions like Hinduism, um, yeah. you know, and, and even like, uh, um, you know, tra- African traditionalist, you know, faiths. Yes. And, you know, I mean, you've even got the, 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 the resurfacing of people worshiping, you know, like Druids and, 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 um, and, 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 and Greek, you know, people worshiping the Greek gods and, and, and yeah. The, um, and the Scandinavian gods and stuff like that, you know, it's, you know, I'm not laughing to say like, oh, this is ridiculous, but you know, I'm just, well, I'm just... Europe, it, it, well, well, and that's the thing, Europe is, is, uh, is, is repaganizing, you know, they're, they're, they're embracing infant sacrifice through abortions, they're, mm-hmm. um, they're, 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 they're going, you know, they're, they're moving from, from this, from this atheistic, agnostic, you know, you know, uh, uh, secular neutrality which which is really just a, it's just a transition yes. and and they're going back to their to to their barbaric pre-christian uh roots wow. you know my you know you know my you know my ancestors mm-hmm. in, in in ireland were headhunting cannibals but, but but you know um before the gospel came there wow wow and 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 that's you know and and that's one of my greatest concerns for 
um, for for the for for Ireland, where 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 my where my dad's side of the family came came from during the you know they had to leave during the potato famine because of the English imperialism. Mm-hmm. Um, but they, but you know the thing is, I think in many ways, um, if the gospel retreats from Ireland, that's what those people are going to revert to. They're going to become head hunting cannibals again. Wow, you think you think so, Baker? Yeah, three, but. <laughs> <laughs> Wow, man, we gotta, we gotta, we gotta, yeah, we're gonna have to, you know, this, that's why it's good that we do these talks, you know, because it's, 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 uh, you know, it's, it's, it's food for thought, and it's also, you know, uh, you know, hopefully, will will we'll put us into action, you know, put yeah. more, more of us into, into action. So, you know, we 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 hope we don't we don't have any more head hunting cannibals running around. Uh, <laughs> yes. Know, that, Hopefully, you know, it, and if we if we can't get around this idea of uh, uh, death and stuff, hopefully that won't happen in my lifetime. <laughs> yes. It, and, 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 and you, you know, I've said this before and, I, and I'll say it again. I I hope that the next pope is is from Africa or or possibly North America from from from, from certain pockets of North America. But right. But uh, but but definitely Africa, because the. The, the 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 cardinals in Europe and South America and and a lot of North America they 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 seem to have just lost their minds you know they're uh, well well many many of them and, and I say that in love I'm not saying that in yeah in uh in in anger or or uh or 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 condemnation or well I guess a little bit of condemnation there but 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 again it's all in not, love. not trying to tear them down right exactly yep yeah 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 well, hey man, this this has been a really fun conversation, bro. And I yes, it has. Yeah, I really enjoyed myself. Let's let's uh, let's keep this up, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's do it again soon. All right, brother. Sounds good.